So I recently did a video about what pointers are and why we even use them. However, some dumb didn't understand it and asked me to do another one, so here it is. If you haven't seen my first video about pointers, you should go and do it to get some basic understanding. In order to get a better understanding about pointers, I will go through the relationship between pointers and strings in both C and C++. I will be using a char pointer string since both C and C++ can use it. The class string in C++ cannot be used in standard C, so I will use the version that both can use. So, if we wanted to print out the string, we wouldn't be able to just give a string to a char variable. Why? Because char variables only contain a single character. It simply doesn't have enough amount of bytes to represent more than one character. But if we were to add an asterisk after the char making the char pointer, the program would work. But why does this work? The reason is because the pointer is containing the address, not just the character. Every value and function in your program is stored temporarily in your RAM, also known as random as memory. This is the memory that is cleared every time you turn off your program or your computer. All values have a specific place in this memory, and it is this memory that the pointer is storing. All values you assign to variables and other things have a specific place in the RAM memory, and it is this address of the memory that the pointer is storing. When we create the string, it is just a bunch of characters after each other, so the char pointer can access the chars after the first one. The pointer gets the address of the first character in the string, and then to get the other one, it just takes the next available address in the memory, since this must be the next character in the string. It does this until it reaches a so-called null character, which tells the program that the string is finished. This works pretty much exactly like an array of characters would work. As you can see, we would also be able to print out the string in C++ by doing this, but this is way more time consuming, so a pointer is just an easier way to do it.